Hello, and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. I know it's been a while. So, just a quick update on my health. I'm doing a little better. They've given me some medication that helps me cope with the symptoms, and overall I'm doing better than last time you saw me, but I'm still not well enough to get out rockhounding. Gone through a lot of testing. They haven't figured out what's wrong. We've got a test next week that I'm really hoping will shed, shed some light on what's going on. But that's where I am for now. And because of that, because I can't really get out Rockhound, I've had an idea for a channel for a while now that is something I can do in the house, Doesn't don't have to exert much, it's, it's great for where I am currently, health-wise. I've always been interested in coin collecting and I've kind of gone in and out of it. I don't know, there's something about Rockhounds who also like to collect coins maybe, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I started up a new channel it's a coin collecting channel and I called it the penny collector so if you're interested in coin collecting I don't know how many of you are but if you are interested in coin collecting go check it out I'll put a link right here to um, to the new channel so yeah if only if you're interested in coin collecting and I'm still learning I still am kind of an amateur at coin collecting not I don't know as much about coins as I do about rocks like I said I've dabbled in and out of it for years and I've decided to get back into it. And what interests me most about coins are the unique errors and varieties and just the things that happen to coins when they're being produced that are not normal. That, that kind of stuff. Anyway, and pennies were always my most, the most interesting to me because they have the most errors because they're the least scrutinized when they send them out into circulation. Anyway, enough about coins. So today I'm going to go ahead and do a quick rock cutting video. So I've got a few rocks over here. I'm just going to quickly cut them open. And let's take a look and see what we got. To start things off, we've got a little bit of the uh, agate from the Red Hill that I hadn't quite cut open. And, okay, it's kind of what I thought. That's why I didn't originally cut it, because I didn't think there would be much in it. But you can see some faint lines there. Here's some Levan black agate that I hadn't cut open yet. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. That's got some good banding in it. Yeah, this place doesn't really disappoint much, does it? <laughs> nice. Here's a little bit of that red agate from the San Rafael Swell. And, okay, yeah, it's right where I thought the vein would be. And that's nice. Good color, good banding. Here's a little bit more of the uh, agate from Red Hill. And this is one where it's part of a crystal pocket. And I was like, I wonder what it would look like if I cut off the end. So I did. And it looks nice. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It broke a little bit because the quartz crystals weren't holding together very well. But that that banding and everything else going on is pretty neat. Here's some more red agate from the San Rafael Swell. Wow, look at all that fracturing in there. Pretty cool though. Here's a little bit of piece of Salina Wonderstone. A mix I'm expecting that the inside will probably look like that. Oh, or even more black than the outside. That one's very black. Still cool though. Here's one of those Jasper nodules from the San Rafael Swell. Kind of an end piece. Let's see what it looks like. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's got quite a bit going on in there. I like it when it has those cool circles. And the last one for today is some good old Vernon Wonderstone. And there it is. Vernon Wonderstone. And that's it for today. A few nice pieces. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll keep you updated on my health as we hopefully learn things and figure things out. And hopefully, in the not-too-distant future, get things fixed and get back out rock hunting. Until then, have a good one, and remember, there is treasure everywhere.